An active investigation is underway by the City of Charleston's Police Department after local journalist Quentin Washington of Quentin's Close Ups was allegedly assaulted yesterday by what appeared to be two teenagers selling Palmetto roses in downtown Charleston. News 2's Danielle Hensley joins us now live from the market area. And Danielle, you spoke with representatives from the Police Department about the investigation. What are they saying so far? That's right, Carolyn. The Charleston Police Department told me they have identified the two juveniles that are involved in the incident that took place yesterday, but they have yet to be detained. The two juveniles were illegally selling palmetto roses downtown before the situation escalated to the kids knocking Washington's phone out of his hands and allegedly physically assaulting him after comments were made about the two being in school. There have long been uh, concerns involving the people who sell roses in the market. They've been of varying types. Um, we, don't, we don't get a lot of complaints regarding assaults. The selling of palmetto roses on the street is illegal. To get a permit, a person must complete a free business course through the city's recreation department, which Lieutenant James Byrne says has four designated kiosks for selling. They teach the kids how to make the roses, and then they follow up with them. They make sure that there's always an adult with them. Um, they actually take orders for roses for weddings and events like that. The number of participants in the Palmetto Artisans program has been on the decline as has the number of sellers on the street. We've actually seen a dramatic drop in the number of calls that we've had about Palmetto Rose sell, uh, sales. Um, the number of complaints and really the number of people that we, sell, that we see selling has gone down uh, markedly. The police department says they do know many of the kids selling the roses downtown and are working with school resource officers to keep them in school. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Danielle Hinsley. Count on two.